looking at the matchup here, Peru beat t was 2 1 over Nationwide, and then of course Nationwide was 2 over Christian, which is how he fought uh, Peru. Peru here 2 0 over Solo Jones, and of course Peru 2 1 over Kirby Kit. Uh, taking a look at Marvelous Marco here, he is 2 1 over Requiem, uh, 2 1 over uh, Itupak, which I'm terribly at pronouncing this name just because it's written in like Latin or Greek, I'm not too sure. Um, and then, of course, the Marvelous Marco 2 over, over the gamer. And unfortunately, it kind of sucks when you're a gamer that's going too well. Uh, but hey, man, that's why we have MSM online and hopefully offline soon every week because you can always try back every week for better results. Uh, and definitely always look to get that training up, of course. Marvelous Marco, strong player all around. I played against Marvelous Marco before. I believe so. Um, he's a pretty good player, but I haven't seen him in a long time, or at least seen his gameplay in a long time. Yeah, but he's I'm actually... It, it's been a minute, too. Like, he's he's kind of like our MSM regular at this point. We don't always see him at top eight, and sometimes he doesn't enter MSM, but when we do, we usually see him floating around top 16, top eight territory here. Mighty Man gets his drinks from the bar, bro. Facts. Ask him what his drink is. Uh, I agree with Guapo99. Sometimes being the designated driver is a better experience. I've had some good fun times being the designated driver. It's, it's, I'm, I'm being real here. This isn't a joke or, you know, trying to get people to be more designated drivers. Nah, man. Uh, Mighty Man, if you ever go, I will tell you right now, do yourself a favor. You order the Roy Rogers because it's not a real drink, but it sounds like one. I'm telling you right now, there's a cherry Coke. This, 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 we're not at the bar, unfortunately. We're in the middle of a gr scramble, so let's what, jump what back into it. What if I told you I already drink that? That's good. But now you know the name of it, though, right? I, I've, I've, I've known it for a while, actually. Okay. Maybe for, like, the past month. But Roy Rogers is very good. Yeah, yeah. If you guys I, have I, never I, tried Roy Rogers, I, it's a big recommendation. Yeah, yeah. I just tell people, like, at, at the bar, you ask for Roy Rogers so you don't look like a square. But, 90, like, 90% 90 of people don't know what a Roy Rogers is. I've been a bartender for, like, so many years of my life. That I just tell people, like, yeah, dude, just order one. And they'll be like, oh, it's a cherry Coke. It's like, yeah, man, it'll save you the trouble of looking lame. I'm, you know, but you know what? The only one who's kind of looking lame here is a little bit on Marvelous Marco. I wouldn't say he is going to be 100% lame. Uh, just dying that way felt, feels lame at times. But Marco here on the 107 on what is going to be Peru. He's just a stock away. Ties it up here with 50% on Marco because, you know, he's not going to let Peru walk away with that percent for free. That's nice ba uh, back air out of shield uh, pair, uh, from para right there. It was also a very good uh, up -y. I mean, up special coming out from Marvelous Marco. Oh man, those combos coming out from Peru. Using that uh, that water shuriken to keep Marvelous Mar Marco off stage. Another up -y once again to just c catch Peru off guard. But right now he's not he's not wrecking up that damage. And also I don't <laughs> see that many. Oh, the spot. That wow. So Using that's that that was so good too because like Marco, I saw that aggression from Peru, and then Peru knows like, all right, cool, I got two link off the stage. If I hit him once, that LP ain't so great in terms of recovery. You have to hit him really low. But Marco knows like I'm not gonna completely just give out. I have to hold my cards until the last second, and he does because you know what, two link has a pretty solid tether recovery. Crazy use of the dare right there. To, yeah. Um... The that dare is so active, man. You have to be careful. All three links have a very, very active dare. In my opinion, I feel like Toon Links is better because I think... Don't the other links, there's like, fall slower than Toon Links? Yeah, Toon Links, no, well, it's all different. Toon Links kind of just, it all depends if you fast follow or how you use it. Toon, oh. links, Toon links dare is active. As, I don't know how much more active than all three links, but you can change if it's a slow active or it's fast like that. It all depends. What a great conversion. Immediately off the boomerang and the up B, and that was rough because Peru literally wanted to get that grab. And you know that Peru had some pressure on their ledge, but you always have to mount for the boomerang because Marvelous Marco was in the money here with game one already. That's hey, Marvelous. That, that's the thing. I'm so sorry, by the way. Uh, but that's the thing about Marco, man. He is such a heavy setup based player. That like if you do not account for any of his projectiles at all times, you will literally just fall into something that Marco has previously set up. And even then, Marco knows what to do after the setup if it doesn't fail. And he makes this up as he goes. That's the crazy thing about it. Yeah, um 
Still, uh, after all this time that I've uh, played, uh, well, I played against him a long time ago, but as I said from like before game one, he still plays Toon Link, surprisingly. I thought he would change character after all this time. Toon Link is like the unspoken high tier of all three links. Argu arguably, I, I think regular Link is the best Link in this game, um, even over Young Link, but like Toon Link and Young Link... They're ridiculous, man. They're actually good. They're both good characters. All three links are good, but I, I think Toon Link is the the unseen high tier that just people just kind of like write off and don't really put into attention because, you know, Young Link is very, very good. Toon Link kind of accelerates at both ends of how Link is as a, in terms of damage and knockback and speed in terms of for Young Link. So he's kind of like the perfect package between both of those characters. But there is going to be the reset from the dragon here, Marco. I'm not going to give out into any sort of raw, as you can kind of tell Perry was looking to get some kind of confirm afterwards. What I can interpret from your uh, your notes about Toon Link is that you're saying that he's underrated, basically? Yeah. <laughs> he's the, the, the most underrated of the three. Oh, nice use of the up air there. Getting back to stage in that final uh, frame coming out from that beat, uh, hit Peru. Crew sitting at 98%, but this is still pretty close in percentages because all it takes is one of those and basically uh. oh, going off stage two. I think that was a backer uh, to finish off Marvelous Marco's last, uh, I mean, first stock. Yeah, every every link main has died by pulling bomb at some point in their life, and Marco had the right play. Like at that point in the stage, you literally want to pull out bombs so you can hopefully get the timer on, and then on the bomb, and then that bomb will reset your up B. Never gives you another jump, only gives you another up B. But unfortunately, with the speed that Greninja has off stage and on stage, you could just catch up to that, no problem. But yeah, I, yeah. I definitely agree with agree with Game Crossing here. And Beru has definitely adjusted. You can see that pressure he's putting onto Marco already. But Marco understands. You know what? I see the space Peru is giving me. Let's take back center stage and go from there. Nice to the uh, up to, uh, up tilt to four. I think that was a four there. Yeah, that was that was I, I kind of missed it for a second, but I might yeah, it might have been four there. Oh, trying to use that tether mid air. Oh wow, that hitbox. Oh, trying to charge up that forts, uh, that S smash, but that didn't really work. We're using the dare, throwing the boomerang backwards. Gonna come back. Doesn't hit Peru. Sadly, uh, nice dash attack into a, a fair right there. Using that recovery to get back and pushing back marvelous Marco with that uh, using that tether recovery with the grab back throw. Pulling out a bomb, pull, uh, put, uh, putting it upwards. Throwing, uh, but Peru did interrupt the boomerang, and that up is going to close out Peru's second stock. Yeah, that was good for Marco. And you can see a little bit that he had a slight charge onto it so he could get bypass the invincibility that you get from get up on the wedge. So that's really keen on Marco to call that out against Peru. I would say Peru has adjusted against Marco, but Marco, like I said, he's always a player who's not afraid to make things up on the fly, even if he misses a confirm. The thing that I'm seeing from Marco, though, is like, like at the beginning of the game, like yeah, the ki the opponent adapts, but your boy Marco, he's gonna go. You know what? L let's let's shake it up a little bit, and then he takes stage control almost yeah. completely, and he takes out the stock just like that. Oh, but using that border, I mean, yeah, fair right there to get rid of marvelous Marco's second stock. But right now, Peru is over a hundred percent, so a possible uh, forward smash at, around the ledge could po could possibly end his uh, this uh, set. Yeah, when you look at like Marco's game plan, like you said, switch it up. A lot of that, a lot of the game plan around all three leagues here is that neutral with Boomerang. What a coverage down the lining. But Boomerang is so strong on the neutral, just having that, look at that, it saves him. He was literally at a, like a, a pretty strong combo to be set off stage, maybe even lose the stock and give get upset it there. Oh no, the fast fall in there. That was a complete, complete slip of the hand on the controller. I am 100% sure. Peru did not mean to do that, and unfortunately, what, what is Peru's demise is Maru's Marco's victory.